is the garden of the golden apples. A long garden between a railway and a road. In the sow's rooting where the hen scratches, we dipped our fingers in the pockets of God. In a thistly hedge, old boots were flying sandals by which we travelled through the childhood skies. Old buckets, rusty hold with half hung handles, were drums to beat when old men married wives. The pole that lifted the clothesline in the middle was a flagpole on a prince's palace when we looked at it through fingers crossed to riddle the evening sunshine's miracles for men. It was a garden with golden apples. And when the carriage train went past, we knew that we would never die till something happened. Like wishing for a fruit that never grew. Or wanting to be up in Candlefort above the village with its shops and mill, the racing cyclists' gas gap reports hinted at pubs where life could drink its fill. And when the sun went down into Drumcatton, and the new moon by its little finger swung from the telegraph wires, we knew that God had happened. And for the black bird in the white thorn sang. It was the garden of the golden apples. A halfway house where we stopped for a day before we took the road west to Drumcatton. But the sun was always set on the plate. Jesus, wouldn't it be great? Des, I'm delighted with Des that John was here tonight because Des was so looking forward to not alone hearing the poem, which is a favourite of Des and a favourite of Maze at home, uh, but uh, also to hear from uh, the tick accent like that. <laughs> <laughs> I do, but not, 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 not as not as, not as, not as, not as cultured as, as uh, <laughs> um, No, listen, that was absolutely beautiful. But please, a round of applause again for John. <laughs> I'm only playing second fiddle here, uh, and that was actually the main part of the evening, and, and rightly so, it was absolutely beautiful. Um, no, I'm delighted to be here for Des uh, on, on a couple of different reasons. I've been and Des go back many years, and um, back to our college when, when I, I came in after Des, and uh, I took his chair, <laughs> and I made shit of it. <laughs> but no, uh, we're very good friends, and Des is the best man at the wedding. And I'm going to say as much as he said at my wedding. <laughs> <laughs> and he's laughing, but he fucking knows it. <laughs> um, it. It's a great honor to be here. I love Des's work. I, I, I have quite a few of Des's pieces in, in, in my office and, and, and at home. And in the toilet. And in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the best place of all of them. Because there's many more time there. <laughs> But I, I, you know, I mean, I'm not going to talk about this as well because I, I, I'm not uh, equipped to do that. I'm not going to do that. Give me a bloody chance, not <laughs> this stony grey style. I'll be looking at it. <laughs> but I, I love the one thing I do love about this as work is the juxtaposition between, and that's a big word for temporary. Yeah. <laughs> the, the hardness and the softness and the gentleness of something, and it's. It's a bit like this as a character as a person. He's, he, 
I, I spent a long, actually spent more time fishing with Des than doing anything else at Podge Donny, he's over there, another man we've, we've, we've campaigned together with. Um, but we'd spend a long time fishing down in Limerick together and out in the river a lot. And uh, Des did a lovely piece for me in the, before, which was a priest, which uh, if any is not a, a fisherman or, or a woman there. I don't think there's any here. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, there's nothing to repeat. It's, it's a thing that you, you, you hit the fish with over the head and, and it kills the fish. It's called the priest because you administer the last rites. <laughs> But he did it, it's a, it, no, it's a big lump of steel or whatever, but there's the, this lovely priest in ceramic, which is a beautiful thing, and I, I see I, I echoes of that in the exhibition, like that lovely thing of, 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 of something that is very resonant and hard, but done in a very gentle way, which is like Jeff Des's character, he's a beautiful man, and, and, and that's why I love him to death. And he's got this gentleness about him, and I think it echoes in his work. And, I was, and that's all I'm going to say about his work. Uh, he's a lovely, lovely man, and I'm mad about him, and I'm delighted to be here. And that's why I travelled four hours ago this world. It's going to be a long time to do this. I'm much bigger than you, Dad. So we won't go into that. <laughs> But no, I'm delighted to be here to open the exhibition, and it's a wonderful experience to be sharing a uh, stage here with this man, John McCardle, as well. And, and it's fantastic. But uh, I, I really do think a uh, round of applause for Des's work, which is fantastic. <laughs> Is to 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 uh, to to open the exhibition with tonight was Eddie Stone and, uh, <laughs> and enjoy the work uh, and, and it should be enjoyed and uh, take time over it because it's lovely it's good. Right, can I just say one thing on the way up the three and three hours ten minutes we come up because <laughs> uh, is there one you didn't get a ticket on the way up? But, uh, the whole thing he said was that I'm not going to say much tonight. <laughs> Can I just say, uh, uh, thanks for everyone for coming tonight, really appreciate it, um, and appreciate John's recital of that. I asked, I brought my book, my cabinet book, which I bring in a lot of time with me, <laughs> and I asked John, have you got a book with you? He said, I don't need that. <laughs> and his recital was, I think everyone agreed, was absolutely fantastic. Yeah. 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 Thanks very much for coming. Thank you.